what's going on YouTube welcome back to the channel today we're gonna to talk about treble hooks colors whether or not they have feathers or not and where I would use all of those with that being said let's talk about feather trebles first so you get like this paw bar here this is a strike king splash uh, this has a feather treble from the factory when they make it it has a treble feather on it and what this imitates essentially to me this is how I pick it up is that this looks like a fin you know a tail fin moving and because when you get the displacement you pop it and then this is going to kind of just side to side until it stops and then you pop it again side to side till it stops kind of like a fish so these are an accent more than an attractant uh, people say you know, um, you know, different color hooks attract the fish or they scare them away. Um, people say red hooks scare fish away and they don't. It's, uh, it's something you can definitely use to your advantage. Um, so like a popper like this, I'll throw this, I'll leave this feather on. But if it doesn't come with a feather, I usually won't put one on the tail. Uh, just because I want that strike to come up here at the front. I want them to essentially headbutt this bait. Um, and that's just for the sheer fact that that's three more points and three more trebles or th another treble hook that could get into the fish and that's going to increase your hookup ratio. So any treble bait, in reality, you really want them to, to key in and focus on the front of the bait as close to your line as possible. So now with this spook, you've got three trebles. This is a... This is a Zara Super Spook. Um, now I change these out. These are the two times strong, one times short shank um, mustad triple grips. Now this allowed me to go up one size, which is awesome. However, it is an extra wide gap, so the fish are going to be able to, you know, it's going to be a little bit harder for them to to get hooked if yeah they swallow it. If they swipe at it, it's great, perfect. Now, you'll see I have this red hook up at the front. Now, if you were to take this out on the water and top water was really on and they really wanted the spook, and you move this around, you'd find you'd get, if you put it on the tail, you'd get a lot of short strikes and probably miss a lot of fish. And if you put it in the middle, you know, you'd probably get some more and you'd, you'd probably find that your hookup is right here for the most part. And if you put it to the front, I found that the fish really key into that red and it's it's nine times out of ten that that red hook is going to be the one that's in them um, that's primarily hooked so obviously you're going to want to put that as far forward as possible to give you the maximum chance at getting you know if if they miss this red one you've got six more points to get into them somewhere along the lines uh, and your hookup ratio is going to increase and your chance at landing that fish will increase as well. Now crankbaits, crankbaits I play this a little different. This is a 5XD in the gizzard shad color and you'll see it has uh, you'll see it has a red treble on the front and a black nickel treble on the back. Now this is only because it imitates a bait fish. I use this red hook to imitate gills. That's, that's it. It doesn't have any other effect. Um, it just I use it it's a confidence thing for me knowing that it has red up there where the gills should be and hopefully it attracts a few more bites now I won't do that on one of these chartreuse black backs or any sort of chartreuse really because you want the fish to key in to this chartreuse belly here and that's gonna let them come up and they're just gonna want to engulf this crankbait or head head on plus the chartreuse black back 5xd by strike king comes with the gill imitation already into the bait so that's just a quick little treble bait tip if you're using a super spook try a red hook on the front uh, I bet your hookup ratio increases same thing with using a, a bait a bait fish imitator crankbait try putting that red hook up front um, I bet you increase your hookup ratio as well so feather trebles on baits to have feather trebles to begin with I don't add them on uh, I think it takes away from the red hook. I think it kind of uh, pulls their eye away from it, and you're a little more likely to get a short strike. 
So as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, comment down below if you guys have used this before or if you think it's going to help you. If it does help you and you've already seen this video, come back, comment on it again, let me know that it helped. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It only takes a second, it's free, and it helps me grow as a channel and let me put out some better videos for you guys. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you on the next one.